this uh, uh, digestive tract microanatomy model is trying to show the four different parts of the digestive tract. So this first part from here to here is showing the esophagus. This is showing the stomach. Then this next part is showing the small intestine. And the last part is the large intestine. So it's trying to show how they transition. And um, it also shows the four layers of the digestive tract. So where you see this little red line going through, from here all the way to the edge, that is the mucosal layer, or just mucosa. And remember that the mucosa is made up of the epithelium. In this case, in the esophagus, it's going to be um, stratified uh, squamous, uh, non-keratinized. Non and then this whitish color that you see here is the lamina propria. And then this thin line right here is the uh, muscularis mucosa, the thin little layer. Okay, so from here to here, mucosa. Then under that, from here to here, this whitish color is the submucosa. Remember, the submucosa contains blood vessels. It contains mucous glands. Uh, it contains lymphatic vessels, you know, Peyer's patches, etc. And then from here to here, it's showing the muscular layer. So there are two layers right here. This outer, uh, this inner layer right here is the um, circular layer. And then this outer layer right here is the longitudinal layer. And then the last part right here is either adventitia or serosa. Since this is showing the esophagus, then this outer layer is the adventitia. Okay? So mucosa, submucosa, muscularis externa, and then adventitia. Then we come over here to the st uh, stomach. Same four layers, but different types of epithelial tissue. So from here, from this thin line to here is mucosa, submucosa. And then remember the stomach has three muscular layers instead of two. It has the longitudinal, the circular, and the oblique. Okay. And so from here all the way to here is mucosa, submucosa, muscularis externa, and then serosa, this outer layer serosa. And the epithelial tissue on the inside of the stomach is called the um, is simple columnar, a simple columnar. And then right here where we see these little pits going into the stomach, those are called gastric pits. You don't have to identify them on the practical, but that's what they are, uh, are the gastric pits. And then where it goes all the way down, those are called gastric glands. Okay. Then from the stomach, we transition into the small intestine. And the small intestine, again, same layers from this thin muscularis mucosa all the way to the edge is the mucosal layer. This is submucosa. And then now we only have two layers of uh, muscle, of smooth muscle, the external, uh, the mucosa externa. And then the outside is serosa. Okay. And then again, the epithelial tissue on the inside is called a simple uh, columnar. And right here, we can see these structures that are sticking out like this. These are called villi. These are called villi. And then you have these spaces right here where they go down, and these are the crypts. Uh, these are the crypts. Um, okay. And then here in the last part the, is the large intestine. And in the large intestine, same three layers from here to here, mucosa. This is submucosa. And then this right here is the um, muscularis externa. And then the outside, it depends what part of the large intestine. It's going to be either adventitia or serosa. Remember, some parts are retroperitoneal and some aren't. Okay. Then again, still simple columnar here. Um, a lot of goblet cells. We get more and more goblet cells as we go from small intestine to large intestine. And, um, you know, the same structures, you know, that are located within. Okay. And then remember, we have folds on the inside of the stomach that are not shown very nicely here, the called rugae. And then on the inside of the small intestine, we have folds that are called circular folds or uh, uh, plecky circularis. Okay.